hair is just not happy. I didn't even try this morning though. <laughs> so how was your April Fools? I had a shitty day that was unrelated to April Fools. Right, right. We're not going to necessarily talk about that one until, I don't know. We're just not going to talk about the promotion thing, right? No, we're just not going to talk about the other thing. Oh, that. Sorry, Rama. As much as juice, dumb is juicy, so is V8 and coffee. But then again, I don't mix that because I'm smart. Not a futuristic train. I'm starting to think they don't come in the morning, but I have seen them here. The futuristic trains are really nice to ride. They are. They are. More people on the jogging track. Apparently it's supposed to be pretty dry today. Or oh, you didn't see the weather report. Oh, I did. It's supposed to be 0% uh, chance of rain. 0% chance of rain. I may be able to pull off uh, a hot tub thing for my triceps. Did you see that on Facebook? No. Oh, you saw the mad scientist thing. Yeah. <laughs> I can't be trusted with, po with uh, po confetti poppers, apparently. I can't be trusted with dry eyes. Well, I can be trusted with dry eyes, just not alone with dry eyes. I'm gonna say there is an ever-growing list of materials and, pro and products you are not to be trusted with when you're alone. If yes. I'd been there, you probably would have done the, oh, click, don't do that, click, don't do that. And then I probably would have realized, oh, okay, well, let's check it out and not, you know, have the little foam thing strike me on the, it, ugh, I'm dumb sometimes. <laughs> What was it, you and Josh came home and found me passed out in the living room? Yeah. And there was a pot of water on the floor? Yeah. Because I was I was having respiratory fun with the uh, with a thing, a block of dry ice and warm water in a pasta pot thing. Apparently tried to uh, unintentionally almost suffocated myself. Good thing I rolled over onto my back so yeah. I could actually breathe above the dry ice carbon dioxide. <laughs> okay, it's new. Not even noon 30 yet. Not even noon 15. It's 11.45. I should look at my camera because it's got the correct time on it because I, you know, did something. Not recently, I actually did. So I'm just going over Rod, Rod, Mercenary Pop-Tart, just going over the various comments. Try Anna Bananas in St. John's. This coffee's great and everyone's nice. I don't know if you'd add the comment of that coffee shop review that I did of Anna Bananas. I'll do that later. I have to head to the store today. I don't have to. I could technically go tomorrow, but I would much prefer get some stuff done today. Like, Walking, <laughs> not like walking, but like being able to move. In theory, I won't be able to move too terribly much tomorrow. My coffee pot is going. Got an email from Heath Wharton, guy that does the finances for the Monarchs. Mm. It's, you know, has all the gear like in his big truck and stuff. Um, he's not going to be at the game, but I guess according to the email, he's gotten together with someone to be able to pass things out. You know, so we will actually have uniforms. It states that numbers, because they don't have all the uniforms, so numbers will probably be in flux. Um, there was a, there's a lot of logistics, and I would read it out loud, but it gets a little confusing. But just because I get a number on Friday doesn't mean, or Saturday doesn't mean I will stick with that number, but hopefully after the next couple weeks, we'll know, because I'm technically one of the newer people, so it may be in flux. I don't know. So yeah, I will chat with y'alls here in well, for you, it'll be instantaneous. I'll tell you this much. World Autistic Autism Aware Day, whatever. Um, it's not working too terribly well when I can't seem to find the correct or anywhere close to the weight that I need for ground beef for tomorrow. I usually try to get 1.12 or 1.11, 1.11, 1.12. That's 1.18, that's a little too heavy, but everything else that was within the 10%, which is necessary to how I cook, was like 0.88. If I, I got a little bit too scared and panicky to go up and ask the uh, actual deli who has 10% if I could have 1.12 pounds. Also, the chili, which is not near soups anymore, is now in canned meat. Oh, gross. It's on the same flannel as spam. Took me a bit to find cocoa. Now that we have a magic blender and stuff, I'm thinking maybe Aaron wants to make chocolate milk. So I got regular Kroger brand milk chocolate cocoa mix. So we had a, another kind of cocoa mix, but that was just so that Alyssa could have it. Do we? Good thing I didn't wait till today to buy it. They haven't restocked it. So who knows when that's gonna get restocked. We may actually have to start shopping at the Indian supermarket. I don't know why it's really a supermarket. It was like the size of a convenience store, but you know, when you deal with countries that are crowded like India, supermarkets tend to be, I don't know. I think I was about to ready to go real racist there for a second. Yay. Fission's starting to come out with uh, tanks. I'm just not 
$11.99. Young men sizes. There's, it's just the style. There's no young men's. It's children or dudes. That's all it is. I should probably wait. See what Aaron says. Let me look at these. I don't like the pocket though. That one's nice. And then there's that one. They only have three options as of right now. But then again, everything's in flux. And I don't see anything else with them out. Well, there's Under Armour, sweet Jesus. Whatever, at least it's starting to become that season. At least here in the Northwest. Pew, pew. My hair's doing today, I guess. So I'm looking for food right now. I'm not necessarily sure what. I need protein. No, I need protein. My, my triceps are feeling it. Still again today, they're hard as rocks. I mean, I can make, you know, you want, people are like, you want muscles hard as rocks. Not when you're trying to do everyday tasks. You don't want them feeling like rocks from the inside. That's a no-no. So I'm gonna skedaddle down to the right and I'm gonna go get something to eat. Okay. I'm amazed this is working. Again, tripod. Don't know where it went. Spent the last 10 minutes, 15 minutes actually doing this. Um, here. We're gonna have this. It's gonna be like vloggerception here. <laughs> Anyways, you, you, you'll... I got back from the store. Mail. Ooh, Aaron got something from KCI Institute. Good, 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 good. What's this? Oh, my package. Ooh, my package. As I saw, as I posted to pretty much every social media, an icon is dying. And its replacement has arrived. Where is it? There you are. BRB. Okay. <laughs> so, as I said on my Instagram, which then went to Twitter and Tumblr and Facebook even, an icon is dying. And its replacement has arrived. It's replacement. I don't know if this is going to show up very well, but it's developing a fairly substantial crack. And at this point, it's starting to become structurally unsound. One of these days, I'm probably just going yeah. So, I went to Amazon, picked up a replacement. It's not shiny, but it's got a weird, funky top. But my question entirely is, Awesome, probably by the same company too. Anyways, this is still going to be used, the shiny one. Still going to be used for a little while. I just don't want to go a day without some coffee because I don't have a mug. That white one is all up. So this is going up here in the cupboard for that one time when like that handle just fails. Papa Murphy's large one topping truck, we already tried it. Oh, here's another one. Oh, you gave us two, that's nice. Apparently coupons don't mean too terribly much when you can give people just two of them. Meat. 1.18, because that's the closest I could get to my desired weight. Aaron loves his cheddar and sour cream chips. He's not been in a really good place, so I try to keep him food happy. My loaf of bread for today. Loaf of bread for Aaron's sandwiches. And then for those of you who don't act, oh, and then the cocoa mix. So that, you know, again, Aaron can have something nice. So much. Make that boy happy. So those of you that don't live in the Northwest, and there's a great number of you that don't actually live up here. Um, or even in this country to begin with. So anyways, we have a, a coastal creamery. Um, they make cheese, really popular cheese, it's Tillamook. But, oh God, that's squishy. It's called Tillamook Mudslide. It's like, <laughs> what is this? Rich chocolate ice cream filled with chocolate chunks and a thick fudge ripple. 190 calories per half cup. Half cup means that's gonna last a while. Got me some chipotle because it's the great, it's it's warm and it's 2, 145. I'm not being able to read a clock recently. The last time I thought it was after noon. Now it's like, I'm thinking, oh look, it's almost, it's after two o'clock. No, it's not, it's 145. So. What did I promise? I promised today that I was gonna talk about the football and how everything's going, because that was January 11th. I mean, I brought it up prior to that. Um, but let's look at the cal cal calendar, calendar. So today is 
I need to switch those. Monarch's practice does not actually exist. <sighs> I'll have to switch that to the game. Um, weekend video is going to be real weird. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven weeks. If y'all remember when I started doing this, that was 11 weeks ago. That is, by and large, 55 vlogs. What have I learned? Well, I've learned a lot more about football than I ever thought I would ever learn. Dude, I have discovered something that I don't know why I didn't do before. Well, no, I have a, I have a logical reason. I understand why I didn't do it, but it seems strange. As a mild schizophrenic, I've got a bit of self-doubt of my own realities. I can't trust my own feelings about things because I don't know if they're real or not, so I have to find some sort of basis. Despite the fact that over the last six practices, I felt incredibly nauseous and gastrointestinally distressed. But after practice, I'm, I'm happy, I'm giddy, I'm, I'm exercised, making progress, I'm not dead. <laughs> I'm not even majorly injured. I've had sore fingers from catching balls slightly wrong, you know, because the coaches or guys that are throwing them to me are not yet, you know, not pros, but they're definitely not throwing them like you would to a, a grade school or even a middle schooler. I should never do basketball. <laughs> that went all over the place. Of course it was a jacket, but you know, it's like injuries. <laughs> The more those go out, the more they look like fingerprints from the other side. My triceps, feeling it, because, yeah. What did I want? What did I want in that confessional video? I wanted, I'm not sure what I said in that video, I haven't watched it recently, it makes me cry. Make sure to make a fair number of people cry. I've always had the desire to wear the gear. I like the idea of how I look in it. Visual shape thing. It's probably an idea about the male figure and the fact that male, or football, American football, is kind of a male sport, and so gay, who knows. I haven't really delved into that one, because it's like, I like it, and I've got uh, cursory reasons why, and I always wanted to wear it. That's why, oh so long ago, I got stuff, because it makes me feel good. It makes me feel good, but it makes me feel good, too. Even afterwards, like when I, like when Angie first moved out, I got in the the light gold and black, and I sat around the house all day. All of it. <laughs> I, I, yeah, it's just, it, it didn't really, I, I, I felt good. But that will isn't enough. I wanted to be able to experience life with it. And now I have. Because the only way to experience life while wearing it, because it makes me feel good, but I don't necessarily have enough confidence to just go wandering around Fred Meyer wearing it would tend to attract attention. So I, I pared down. I like wearing football gear. So the next question is, and I want to wear it where people can interact with me, but it's not like, oh god, that's strange. You know, comes January 11th, I've done my research and stuff, and I thought, hey, you know, we all saw that video. Most of us saw that video. What have I got to lose? Well, January 11th came around, and I got onto the team. Grace of God or whatever you want to say, fate, whatever, whatever holistic stuff you want to believe in, you know, it happened. And now it's been 11 weeks, you know. I've probably gained a fair bit of muscle mass. I've gained at least the determinative, determination, determination respect of people I'd never met before and probably would never have ever contacted other than, like, if I happened to have gone to their work. Like, our main quarterback. Phil, he works at, a, at, a, at a, a cell phone store. If I was for some reason in his neighborhood or, you know, and then I probably would have interacted with him, but it wouldn't have been on any close to a social level. It would have been completely business. I'm not backing down. I'm not shying down. I'm charging forward. I'm definitely seeing this as a next year thing, assuming I got the money, which isn't hard. As I've seen this year, you don't have to pay the player fee up front. You just got to make sure you pay it by a certain date. So even on my limited income, I will be able to. And since I already paid for the helmet and the shoulder pads, then I don't have to do that again. So it's really only 150 bucks plus travel expenses. You do this again and actually be on the field. We don't know how much I'll be on the field. Like we are a transitioning moment here. We went, you know, practices this way, games that way. What else is today? 
Also, today is World Autism Aware Day. Whole lighted up blue thing going on. I'm wearing. We'll go with this as green. You can comment below if I got it wrong. Nobody complained that my cup is blue, so I'm celebrating lighted up blue. My cup's been blue for <laughs> four, five years ago. I had that cup for five years. Technically, I've been diagnosed longer than that. On Autism Really Speaks, they're having a lovely heyday about it. And it's not to diminish their efforts, because basically the idea behind that blog on Tumblr is that Autism Speaks doesn't actually speak for autistics. It speaks to parents of autistics that want to fix their broken child. Broken child. You know, take that as you will. So, yes, we will have, hopefully, things will work out with Aaron. He's kind of in a dark place, highly stressed. Job's kind of doing that with some of the promotions and whatnot. And Aaron kind of, I think he just wanted to get off the phones. If you have any encouraging words about stuff, I mean, I know he's stuck in a rut on his coding for his Vampire the Masquerade. I'm not probably getting him down too. Another one of those feel like a failure because you can't get any progress done on something. You figure out some way to get him some progress on stuff. I've been telling him about the losing weight and the fact that, you know, he's able to get my arms way further around him when we hug. I will catch y'all tomorrow. Probably gonna do a coffee shop. If I don't know if I can walk tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. It's leg day tonight. Also Indian night, so I um, might have a weird, what's all this new stuff about? Anyways, bye. <laughs> it's not so much that it's cold. It's actually 46 degrees outside. It's the fact that it's getting rainy. <laughs>